So we already watched the Canadians play the Maple Leafs, and everyone anticipates that uh, these two teams will beat the crap out of each other by the <laughs> fifth or sixth time they'll play against each other this season. I believe February 10th is the next time these two teams will play. We still have to see them play the Senators. We still have to see them play against the Jets, against the Canucks, against every other team in the North Division. I ask you, panelists, which team do you think will provide the toughest matchup for the Montreal Canadiens this season? Well, aside from Toronto, just because of the long history and also just seeing how the first game of the season went, that's going to be a tough matchup. It's going to be one of those fun games to watch. Even Josh Anderson said after the game, you know, we're going to remember this one, and that's only game one. Uh, but I'm excited to see them play the Vancouver Canucks more than twice a year, and I think that's going to be a really fun matchup. I'm hoping that some sort of rivalry can be started between the two teams and see uh, what kind of competition they're able to bring, and I think it'll be entertaining hockey. For someone who works morning radio, those start times when they are in Vancouver, oh, it's difficult for me to watch those games. But uh, thank God for PBR and watching it in the morning. <laughs> I guess I I agree with you. Vancouver um, Vancouver is a good hockey club. Watching them watching them play, they're young, they're fast, they're skilled. They've got some decent goaltending and Holpe now, and uh, they are they are a good team. They play an upbeat type of uh, game with, uh, like I said, very, very good skills. And they're a team that I think uh, you have to watch out for because uh, they can really make things happen. So we obviously will have a, a real good reading as we, uh, we we see the season unfold as far as how they match up in their, their nine games that they're going to have uh, against each other. But uh, I think it should be, uh, they should have their hands full with Vancouver. I think it's Toronto, and we saw why in the season opener. Uh, just that offensive firepower and their power play. You know, they were down 3-1, and then the power play got them right back in the game. Uh, you know, Simmons, the tough guy there, too, makes them more difficult to play against. So I think it's Toronto, and we saw why in the season opener. The other team is the Edmonton Oilers, because Nathan McKinnon – not sorry, not Nathan McKinnon, Connor McDavid. Connor McDavid. I would do that. Good Connor, type of player. <laughs> Connor McDavid. Uh, in previous seasons, the Canadians only had to face him twice. Now they're going to face him like nine times. And Connor McDavid is, uh, you know, as, as fans, the Canadian fans are going to be lucky to get to see him play that often. But uh, for Canadians defensemen, it's, uh, oh, my God, playing Connor McDavid that many times is not going to be fun. Yeah, uh, seeing a def seeing a defenseman being put on a poster, I guess the NBA equivalent of being on a poster in the NHL, having Connor McDavid do that to you like five, six, seven times a season, that's not going to be fun for a lot of defensemen. Hopefully for the Canes, they don't have to go through that that much this yeah. year. Who do you think, or who knows, uh, who do you think will be the toughest matchup for the Montreal Canadiens this season? Be sure to let us know in the comments and visit HockeyInsideOut.com to check out our full episode.